Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Elite Dangerous. In between the episodes I exchanged my Type 6 transporter with a Type 7 transporter, which makes us more than doubly efficient in transporting cargo. So today I thought I want to explore the free trading a little bit. We're going to use several tools in order to accomplish that, starting with the Elite Tradenet or ETN.io. This is how the tool looks when you first boot it up, a little bit confusing, but that is going to change in just a second. First things first, we need a reference system. So this is the system where we're currently in. So I got that pasted up here. Next up, let's do something with the route. We want to include planetary because we have the horizons expansion. We could limit trades to a certain destination or to systems controlled by certain factions. Also gonna leave empty the minimum and maximum trade routes, but I'm gonna enable trade loops only. So we can do a loop and buy and sell stuff in a considerably short time. Next up in the trade tab, uh, we can set up a budget. I think if you leave it free, it's just unlimited. What we want to do is maybe set up a minimum supply and a demand of 1000 or so. So we can do the trade route a couple of times. And I'm gonna limit the price age to one day. So the prices are extremely accurate. As for my ship, you could set up your ship right here or what you could also do is rebuild your ship in Coriolis.io. So this is the current setup of my Type 7 transporter. I made sure to give it a name, then I saved it and then I used this export button in order to copy this text. Back in the Elite Trade Network, what we want to do is import from Coriolis. You could also do that from ED Shipyard, but we want to do it from here. I already pasted it in, I think, or maybe that is just an example. Let's redo it, submit, and it's going to recalculate the routes using your ship cargo as well as your jump range. Great, now we have all the suggested trade routes on the top and depending on which one we choose, we can see the individual destinations at the bottom. The first route has three destinations and a loop of two destinations at the end that you can do over and over again and apparently earn around 8 million credits per hour if you do that. We could also choose a different trade route if something seems more reasonable to us but uh, for the time being I think I'm just gonna go with this one and then I'm gonna click the minus button here in order to hide all of the other routes and just get my information. The first step is just to go to our target system right here. At this point we're gonna purchase 288 polymers for around 130 credits a piece but we're gonna sell them at 4600 credits a piece so that is a pretty good profit margin I would say. Now I believe we can just control C that and then paste it in here. Let me actually try that. Yeah that actually worked. Beautiful. So this is our first system we have to go to to get things rolling. Looks like our trade route is going to go to a planet. I'm gonna favorite this so that I can plot this much easier in the future. Of course planetary landings are gonna take a bit longer, but that's actually something that comes calculated with the tool. You can actually see going between these two stations here should only take me a little more than 10 minutes. On this ship I also installed Super Cruise Assist and a advanced docking computer. I only use it to actually dock, I don't use it to launch. The launch is always done a little bit stupid by the AI. But I do appreciate the docking that allows me to do a little bit more multitasking, especially in times when I'm just going back and forth between stations. It's not a shame to not dock yourself every time. Right, we're currently in Klepsch Survey. We want to buy reactive armor and then go ahead and sell them at Freedman Works. I can buy them for around 2000 credits. Let's actually check the website. Yeah, there it says. The price is around 2000. It has raised a little bit since yesterday, but we want to fill one cargo full of that. Let's see for how much we can sell them. Want to travel to Gala Vu? Uh, plot a route. Uh, Freedman works. Oh, geez, where is that? Right there. Also on a planet. That is good. I can practice planetary approach. Why not? It's almost more important that they are so close to the sun, uh, but we can also chart from the website. Let's actually check that out. It should only take me roughly four and a half minutes to get to the station. Or base, since it's on a planet. Cool, this is one heck of a base. Looks like a military outpost, but I think it's more supposed to be like a factory. Request the docking and, well, I'm gonna relax while you do that for me. Let's go ahead and sell our stuff. Let's see how much profit we can make. Where is it? Well, hold on. Right there, actually. Sell... Hold on. Wait! Oh, 
I did not notice, the prices have already changed, so the route right here isn't very profitable with only 2000 or so profit. However, the route back is gonna be something different. Well, now with an empty cargo hold, we want to purchase polymers from here for 130 credits per unit. I don't know if that is the right price. Yeah, actually it is. Look at that. 130 credits and we will be able to sell it for 4,500. This is really a good trade tool. However, only if you want to do short routes near your system. So I'm gonna buy all the units for 37k and we're gonna make our way back to the previous system. Just keep doing the loop over and over until we run out of items or patients. Ah, arrived at the second station. Let's see how much money we can make here. Wanna sell all the polymers? Yes, for 4,600 credits. And we made 1.3 million credits profit. That is pretty darn good just for flying to the next system. Of course, we can do this over and over as long as they have items. What I want to do now is measure the time it takes me to do one loop. So once we are back here at the station, I'm gonna stop the timer. And I want to know approximately how accurate this tool is in terms of predicting your time. So let's load up everything. Beautiful. And as soon as I hit the launch button, we are gonna start a timer. Actually, I need to do that somehow. Here we go, I have a clock, let's get this started. docking. I thought I could override it. Okay, it is going to be time soon. Hang on, hang on, hang on, and... Time. This trade route, of course, comes with the caveat that it is on a planet. For instance, for the second station, I had to launch off the planet, then super cruise around the planet. That, of course, cost me some time. But generally, I would say the tool didn't guesstimate too badly. We have 6 minutes plus 4 minutes 30, so 10 minutes 34 or so, and it took me uh, surely a minute longer to launch off the first planet. And then I guess if you did the docking yourself, you would also save on at least 30 seconds or so. So this time is more or less accurate. You know how much money you essentially earn per 10 minutes. But to celebrate that, of course, we want to sell all of our polymers for another 1.3 million profit. And of course, if we did that, on average per hour, we would make approximately 8 million credits. If we had a bigger ship, of course, we could do this quicker. One thing I'm not sure about is if that actually increases your trader rank as well, or if you have to do missions for that. Alrighty, I wanted to show you another tool, the Elite Dangerous Database, or eddb.io website. This website comes with a variety of tools, as you can see, but for today's video, I just want to show you the single hop route. Now, let's imagine we want to go home with our cargo ship. However, we would just fly home with an empty cargo, not making any profits whatsoever. And that is something I want to change. Let's set up a couple of things here. For instance, we want to set a minimum supply. Let's do around 300. Of course, also demand, then the price age should be uh, very recent. My cargo is 288 tons. I have many available credits. We want to include planetary and then we want to set the system we're currently in, which is called um, Biko and we are at Klepsch survey. So let's see in general what routes we can find here. There's one, for instance, 47 light years away. If we bought reactive armor, we could make a profit of around 288,000 credits, which isn't much for flying 50 light years. So maybe it's not really worth getting anything from this station at all. 
But considering we would be flying home anyways, I could set up my home system here, Breslau, and just find a route there in order to figure out, yeah, look at that. We could go to a station that is very nearby my home planet and still make 55,000 credits just for getting there. And since we're flying back home anyways, why not make 55,000 credits instead of zero credits? Ah, now this is much more interesting. Paola plant, for instance. Look at that. We just have to change the station in the current system we are, buy some polymers and we could sell them for a lot more. Get 1.1 million credits profit. Let's do it. There it is. Paola plant. It was just a couple of light seconds away. Unfortunately on the other side of the planet. Let's dive in. <laughs> Here we are, arrived at the station, commodities market, we want to get uh, polymers, right? Yeah, for approximately 1000. Now looking on the right side here for polymers, we can actually see this is the trade route that has been suggested by the first tool here. Getting the polymers in Friedman works for only 130 credits. Then selling them in Umbico for 4,500 credits. However, the second tool I'm using in order to figure out what I could purchase in the system I'm already at. And then when I arrive in the next system, I calculate a new and potentially better route from there. So right now we're gonna do what the tool told us to do. We're gonna get those polymers. And then we want to plot a route to Kalhuacan. Right there, copied. Just a shy 15 light years that should be possible with one jump. Let's launch. There is my target destination on a planet. Maybe we should remove the planet so the trading is more fluent. But I, I don't really mind. I love landing on planets. While we are doing this approach, we're gonna swap back to the website. Because we want to figure out what we can do next. So now we're just gonna paste in the system here. Bryant Bastion and then we're gonna calculate a new route and here we can see a route well not very profitable well we can't always be lucky with those things but as I said the single hop route functionality I usually use when I move from one system to another anyway with an empty cargo hold so why not fill it up and make some profit on the side Brian Bastion I'm coming all right then, the price is even raised a bit, I think, here. So total profit of 1.1 million. Sure, we take that. You know, the third option is, of course, to just browse the sell page. Uh, here we can also see that polymers are well above the galactic average. And on the right, of course, we can then also see who is producing it very cheaply. So in Gaulabu, just 26 light years away, we can get them cheaply or in Paola plant, as we just saw. Sure, I mean, that might be the better option for VR, just cruising around in the systems, visiting a station and then checking this page for the prices. Like some of these minerals are well above the galactic average. That seems pretty darn awesome. All right, then to wrap things up, let's do a pure in-game trade. I want to figure out something that I can purchase from this station and sell for a lot on another station. Out of all these items, the personal weapon seems to be the best, but they only have 67 supply. However, we could also purchase some reactive armor and sell it at the same station for around 700 profit. Let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna collect all of these and the reactive armor as well. That leaves us with some cargo space left. I'm gonna choose this because it goes to the same station here and we can also make some decent profit of around 600. Cargo hold is full, let's go to Dearden Salter 1, which is actually in the same system. Right here, it's also a station, so that's gonna be quick. By the way, we're doing all of this not to make the most profit available in the game, of course. If you do efficient mining, you can make 100 million per hour. I'm just saying, I wanna enjoy all the aspects of the game, and if I can make some money doing it, why not? Uh, oh, okay, we're getting interdicted. I am not ready for this. No, ah, we can do it. Oh, come on. I hate when this happens. Why? Why with my precious cargo? You know, it's weird. I read that interdictions are really hard sometimes, but I never really failed one. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Not to brag or anything. Hey, voila. We have arrived. Beautiful. Let's dock and see how much profit we can make. Just following in-game hints. Of course, my stuff is all the way at the bottom, as usual, but 13k profit, okay, neglectable. 
51,000, that is better, and 41,000, okay, okay. Not sure how accurate all of these prices on the right side are, but I mean, it is still a way to make profit if you don't want to bother with external tools too much. Okay, with that out of the way, I think we're gonna wrap up today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.